Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and this is the Creality Ender 3 Review. So hopping right into the video, I got this Creality Ender 3 from Gearbest.com and I want to give a big thanks for sending out this printer to me for a review. So I got the Creality Ender 3 in a box from Gearbest and I unboxed it on a live stream on my channel, which is super fun and I got to talk to you guys while setting up the printer and doing a first print. So look for more live streams for printer unboxing soon on my channel, so make sure to subscribe for that. So after I got it all set up and tested on the live stream, I started doing some more test prints and started to get familiar with the printer to make this review. So some background info, the Creality Ender 3 is geared towards beginners and it's a low cost printer only at 179 US dollars right now on Gearbest.com, which is an extremely good price for a beginner 3D printer. It's from Creality 3D, the same creators of the very popular CR10. And it's based off the same exact design as the CR10 and CR10S, but it's a little bit smaller and geared towards beginners. So because the Ender 3 is made by Creality, it has a lot of the same parts as the very popular CR10 and CR10S. It has the same MK10 extruder, which is a Bowden extruder, which means the geared extruder that pushes the filament into the hot end is on the side of the frame. It uses a long Bowden tube to push the filament into the hot end. It also has the same V-slot extruded aluminum frame, which is super sturdy. and uses POM wheels, which run along the V-slot aluminum for motion. It also was one piece, so everything's attached to the frame, which makes it super sturdy and easy to move around. The motherboard, the power supply, the LCD screen, and the spool holder is all attached to the V-slot aluminum frame, which makes it super sturdy and easy to move around. And it also has a safety protected power supply, which is awesome for beginners. So there's no loose wires or terminals anywhere. It's all compact and all the wires are connected with easy connectors and XT60 connectors like used on hobby airplanes and drones, which is awesome. So even though it's a smaller version of the CR10, the build volume is actually very good for a beginner printer. It's a 200 by 200 by 250 millimeter bed and a heated 24 volt bed and a new flexible plastic surface. So with the CR10, it had a 12 volt bed, so heat up pretty slowly. But with the Ender 3, it's a 24 volt system, which means the extruder and the bed is gonna heat up a lot faster, which is awesome. And on the newer versions of the Ender 3, it has a removable flexible build plate. So it has a build tack like surface, that scratchy plastic surface, which allows prints to stick very well. And when you do with the print, you just slide the bed off the printer and then flex the plate and the parts just pop right off, which is super awesome, especially for beginners. Also, the Ender 3 features a micro SD card slot with an LCD screen. Again, it's the same concept as the CR10. It has a micro SD, which you slip into the printer and you can print offline with them. And it has a big LCD screen with the selection knob. You can navigate through the settings. Also, the Ender 3 has huge twist wheels for adjusting the bed. So underneath the bed, the four screws that hold the bed in place can be adjusted with these four huge twist wheels. And you twist them to adjust the four corners of the bed to ensure that the prints are coming out nice and level and the nozzle is the right distance above the bed so your part sticks perfectly. So after assembling the printer on the live stream, I noticed how easy it was to assemble because it had very good instructions on a sheet of paper and for a total beginner, it will probably take you an hour or less to assemble the whole printer. So some things that I found about the Ender 3 is that it is a super solid printer. It is rock solid with all the connectors being bolts and washers, V-slot aluminum framing, and high quality bent metal parts. So nothing on this printer is 3D printed. Everything is high quality and should last a long time. Also, the power supply has an injection molded power cover with a switch and easy connector. So you plug in your power cord into the box and on off switch on the power supply as well. So you don't have to unplug and plug back in the printer to turn it on and off, which again is awesome for beginners. All the wires on the Ender 3 connect to the motherboard, which is again attached to the V-slot aluminum frame within its own metal box. So all the wires are nicely managed and they connect to the motors and the power supply and the end stops with very secure connectors. Also, everything on the printer is attached to the frame. 
so it's very easy to move. So if you want to move the printer from your desk to your car to somewhere else, it's very easy to do. You just pick it up and everything comes along with it. It's all one nice small package. Also, the Ender 3 comes with all necessary tools to print with, which includes flush cutters, a spatula, a spool holder, an extra brass nozzle, and a wire to clear out jam nozzles, and even a little bit of filament, which is awesome for beginners if you don't have any of these tools. The Creality Ender 3 comes with all the necessary tools to build a printer, to work on the printer, and even do some upgrades, which is awesome. So on the live stream, I set up the Ender 3 and ran the first print off the SD card. And it turned out fantastic. The very first print on the live stream turned out really, really well. It took about six hours and I popped it off the flexible bed. It was super easy and the layers turned out absolutely fantastic. For an out of the box printer, with an hour or less of assembly, this is an absolute beast of a printer, especially for beginners. I also tried to use some more exotic filament. I used wood to print out a Groot. It came out absolutely fantastic. There was a little bit of stringing, which was my fault on the slicer, but the surface quality and the shells looked absolutely amazing. And you can print many materials besides wood on the Ender 3 as well, and it can handle very high speeds, and it has very good part cooling. Print quality is also amazing, on par with the CR10, because they mostly have all the same parts and design, which is a definite plus. So of course there are going to be some problems with 3D printers, and so far I've only had one problem with the Ender 3, and I've heard that it's very common. And that problem was with the PTFE Bowden tube, and it was not allowing the filament to go into the hot end, it was getting stuck and jammed in the Bowden tube, so I took it out and switched it out for a new Bowden tube, and that fixed all the problems. So of course I printed a lot more test prints on the Ender 3, it was my go-to printer over the next few weeks, it was very reliable and fast. I sliced an object on Cura and clicked print on the Ender 3 and the part worked mostly every single time. It is a very, very reliable 3D printer, especially for beginners. Many people ask me what beginner printer they should buy under $200 and there's not a very good variety of good solid 3D printers under that price. But the most popular ones I say are Table Tarantula or the Ana A8 or the Mono Price Maker Select, those ones, but they're not the best printers for beginners. But after testing out the Ender 3, beats every single one of them out by a long shot. This printer is an absolute beast. It is super reliable, it is high quality, great print quality, a lot of good features like the 24 volt bed and the flexible build plate. It is an absolute beast of a beginner printer. And I would highly, highly recommend it if you are a beginner or you're looking to get into 3D printing. And right now it's $179 on gearbest.com and you can click the link below to go to the website and check it out there. And if you wanna check out some of my other recommended 3D printers, make sure to check out the links below. And also if you need filament for your 3D printer, Gearbest sells some low cost PLA like Tronxy and K Camel filament, which I'll also put links below and which I used on the Ender 3 to do some test prints and it came out absolutely great. And another big thanks to GearBest.com for sending me the Ender 3 for review. And speaking of GearBest, they're actually having a big sale right now called the Treasure Hunt, where you can play games and buy specific products to get prizes and big discounts on products. So make sure to head over to GearBest.com to check out their big sale and save money. Also, if you want, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's at 3D.now on Instagram and at 3DNowPrinting on Twitter. And with that being said, I hope you like this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. I will answer every single question. Like this video if you liked it. And subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.